right, I'm going to be solving this problem in this video. The question is taken from the dynamics of motion. Now here we're going to apply the ideas of uh, momentum conservation and the conservation of total energy. Now the question says a bullet of mass 20 gram strikes a ballistic pendulum. A ballistic pendulum is a device for measuring a bullet's momentum from which it is possible to calculate the velocity and the kinetic energy of that bullet. Now here the ballistic pendulum is given and the mass is 2 kg. The center of mass of the pendulum moves a vertical distance of 12 cm. Now if the bullet remains embedded, it's a case where after the bullet struck the, um, the ballistic pendulum, it became embedded in the pendulum. And then we have to calculate the initial speed of the bullet. So I'm going to show you a picture that illustrates this question. You know, in this um, my paper here. So I have here the ballistic pendulum hanging from this support or from this point. Okay, this is the pendulum now. All right, the mass is two kg. I have this bullet. The mass is twenty grams. You can see very clearly here that the initial speed of the bullet is not given. We have to find that. That is what the question says. We should calculate the initial speed of the bullet. Now, um, the bullet moves and then strikes this pendulum and becomes embedded in the pendulum. All right, so here we will see that applying the ideas or principles of momentum conservation, we see that the total momentum of the bullet and the pendulum before the impact is just equal to that of the bullet, okay? Because momentum of the bullet is, let's call M1, the mass of the bullet. And then the mass of um, the initial speed of the bullet is this, is equal to M2, I call that the mass of the pendulum times its initial speed u2. Since this pendulum was at rest, it means its initial momentum will be zero. So before the collision, before the impact, the total momentum of the system is that of the bullet alone. That is m1 u1. Okay, I'll convert my, since my m1 is given as 20 grams, I've changed that to kilogram, divided by 1000 gives 0 0.02 kilogram. So that my total momentum before collision before the bullet strikes the pendulum is 0 0.02 multiplied by u1, okay? Now, after the collision of the, the bullet with the pendulum, see what happens, look at this picture. The bullet is now embedded in the pendulum and they begin to move off together. Just before they begin to move off together, what is their total momentum? Total momentum. That's what we want to write down now. Total momentum after the impact. Okay? What is this total momentum after their impact? It is still the momentum of both uh, uh, bullet and the pendulum. But since both of them are now one, the bullet is inside the pendulum. You know, you can see it as one moving with having a total mass rather of M1 plus M2. That's a total mass. And then multiplied by the total common, that is multiplied by the common speed. Uh, of course, this is supposed to be the momentum of the bullet after M1 V1 plus M2 V2. But since they both move with a common speed, it means that V1 equals V2. I can make substitution now, substitute for V1 and V2. Okay, let's call that V, which is our common speed. This V is the common speed with which both uh, begin to move together. So that gives me M1V plus M2V. If I factor out my V, I have V into M1 plus M2. So this is their total momentum after the impact. And this is their total momentum just before both of them start moving together. So it means that for conservation of momentum, the initial momentum which we got is 0 0.02, the initial momentum 0 0.02 U1 will be equal to their final momentum, which is V, into M1 plus M2. Recall that M1 is 0 0.02 uh, kilogram, that's the mass of the bullet, plus 2 kilograms, that is the mass of the pendulum, okay? 
that will give me 0 0.02 u1 is equal to 2.02 v okay i'll call this equation one okay now let's see the conservation or apply the principle of energy conservation now when the two of them are now together it just before they start moving together they have kinetic energy and then when the boat rise to this level they have gained some potential energy because the center of mass this is the center of mass of both of them has moved from this level to this level so this again and the question says the center of mass moved a distance of 12 meters vertically upward so they say gain in potential energy both uh, bullet and pendulum gain potential energy after the impact so to use the energy principle uh, that that means the kinetic energy before or when it starts moving together is equal to their gain in potential energy so i can write that half mass of the bullet plus mass of pendulum v squared is equal to m1 plus m2 that is total mass of a bullet and pendulum g times uh, the height with which they move so this is equal to this so we can cross that out so that gives us half times v squared is equal to g times h and mind you this v is their common velocity their common speed which um, we need to find first okay so we got come here that is half v squared is equal to 10 times so let's use g as 10 take g as 10 to simplify and to make our calculation easy so that is multiplied by 0 0.12 because the height is 12 c which we they put a rise together so that gives us in meters 0 0.12 meters so we multiply this by it gives me v squared over 2 is equal to 1.2 cross multiply have v squared is equal to 2.4 and then when I take the square root of 2.4, in order to find the common speed of these two bodies, it's going to be 1.55 in approximately meters per second. So this is a common speed. Okay, I'll come back to equation one. This equation I called equation one has two unknowns. We have the initial speed of the bullet and their common speed with which the bullet and the pendulum begin to move off together after the impact. So I'll recall that equation one, that is to say it is 0.02 u1 is equal to 2.02 uh, v. And of course, this is my v. It means 0.02 u1 is equal to 2.02 multiplied by 1.55. All right, so that uh, the initial speed of the bullet, that is my u1, is 2.02 multiplied by 1.55 divided by 0. Uh, 0 0.2 so what's now the initial speed so you can run that with your calculator and then the initial speed give me what which gives me 1.156.5 meters per second okay that gives the speed the initial speed of the bullet you know while it was traveling towards the ballistic pendulum all right so that is how this question is solved thank you very much